Hello, Caitlin. It's Monday, August 17th, and your hair is beautiful. Your quilt is beautiful. You are beautiful. I approve of all of these things. I love your bangs. They're, they look so great. So quit doubting because they're beautiful. They're great. As for Bear Lake, I have no idea why it's called Bear Lake. Um, all I can find is that it was originally called Black Bear Lake. It was named by like a guy who worked for a fur company, so maybe there were bears there. I don't know. And apparently there's also a Bear Lake monster, though he hasn't been sighted since 2002. So we're pretty safe. As you know, we just got back from Seattle. Um, I had a work trip and Garrett tagged along because he's looking into University of Washington for grad school. And it was really great because he got to have um, like an, in, like a, not an interview, but like a meeting with the um, advisor for the grad program there and got lots of tips for applying and we got a tour of the speech clinic and all the stuff there so it was really cool um, and I think it was pretty helpful. Um, we drove around a lot which like when you have I, when you and I have been to Seattle before for UCCCCC like we didn't really go anywhere we just kind of did like downtown Seattle and that was it. And we did downtown Seattle we went to Pike Quiz Market yum um, but we also like drove around all the suburbs which was cool so we kind of got a feel for like maybe we could live here maybe we could live here I don't know because we're probably not gonna be able to live in like downtown Seattle because it's really expensive Ugh. but it would save on commuting there's like pros and cons to everything anyway we don't have to decide for a while because Garrett um takes a GRE next week <laughs> Fingers crossed it all goes good. And then applies for schools this fall. So we probably won't like know where we're going until, I don't know, December, January or something. So still lots of time and yeah, we'll just see, I guess. I don't know, he's applying other places too. So we might not end up there. We might even just stay in Utah, who knows. I'm sorry to hear that your trip was kind of a mess. That's a mess. And I'm glad things are getting back to normal because that's good. Um, so. Yeah, I hope things continue to go well for you, um, and keep being authentically awesome. Garrett is about to eat the legendary pierogi. Pierogi. Will he like it? Make sure you get some beef in that bite. He likes it. It's just like a Chilean empanada, but uh, flaky. I want it to be unique and special. It tastes pretty similar. Oh, It's delicious though? But it's delicious. And it's more flaky than a Chilean empanada. Okay. I also got a Mars pan roll. I know it's not going to taste like an empanada. <laughs> Let's see what he thinks of it. I, I, it's, it was seriously like really delicious. I think it was better than a Chilean empanada because it is like flaky. Mm -hmm. And Chilean empanadas aren't flaky. Good. And Chilean empanadas have hard-boiled eggs inside them, I brought which you, is not a good thing. But yeah, I brought you all the way to Seattle just to eat pierogi pierogi, <laughs> and you just weren't as happy with it as I wanted you to be. <laughs> but that's okay. It's. I'm sorry. I've had something very similar to it. I'm sorry. Well, try this Mars panel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that good? Mm -hmm. You haven't had anything like that before? No. Good. It's orange. <gasps> orange. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> okay. It's sweet, but not too sweet. I like it. Good. Update. Garrett just said that he could eat the marzipan roll all day. That's high praise. I think we have succeeded in our mission. <laughs>